Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Gaming News on Clownfish Gaming, and we're going to talk about Pal World. Actually, we're going to talk about how you're not allowed to talk about Pal World. Pal World is still selling very, 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 very well. Over 19 million players as of, let's see, this was January 31st, 19 million players. But if you talk about Pal World in Japan, be prepared for a potential blacklisting. We're going to talk about that. The Niche Gamer has an article saying that Japanese talent agencies are telling their people not to talk about Pal World because we don't know what's going to happen legally with Pal World. We know Nintendo is on the prowl, and we know that they're apparently pouring through the game to make sure there are no stolen assets or anything. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything about Power World, but they're not happy about it. That's that's putting it mildly. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. Uh, yeah, we try to keep our gaming news under 10 minutes. And uh, if you're looking for the audio version of these uh, gaming news bites, you can go out to, well, anywhere. Uh, Spotify, Apple, Amazon wherever you find finer podcasts and also ours. So this is uh, this is coming from the official Pal World account on Twitter. Total number of players exceeds 19 million. That was on January 31st. It's been uh, less than two weeks since Pal World was released. Steam, there are 12 million copies sold to Xbox, 7, mil- 7 million players, because that's on Game Pass, right? Uh, we'll continue to prioritize fixing bugs. Thank you for your continued support of Pocket Pair. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Of course, there's a lot of drama around Pal World. We know that if you mention Pal World, you can't mention it without Nintendo coming up, without Game Freak coming up, without Pokemon uh, coming into the conversation. And even if you don't mention Pokemon specifically, Pokemon fans are going to show up in your, your comments. I guarantee you they're going to show up in your comments and talk about what a shit game Pal World is compared to Pokemon and how Nintendo needs to sue them into oblivion. But apparently they've got uh, Japanese talent agencies scared. This is coming from Niche Gamer. Said it was a rumor. Japanese talent agencies are allegedly warning their talent not to mention Pal World out of consideration for the original. The original, of course, being Pokemon. According to the site Tokyo Sports, the comparisons between Pal World and Pokemon have made the game a dangerous topic. In response to this series of events, there was movement in the entertainment industry, a senior executive at an entertainment agency said. Now, this is being translated from Japanese, so it's kind of eh. Uh, we have told our talent not to mention Power World on SNS or in public. This is our office's consideration for the Pokemon side. It was a decision made in consideration of future collaborations. The entertainment agency did not want to make enemies with Pokemon, which has a large fan base. Yeah, uh, Pokemon is one of the biggest franchises on the planet might actually be the the biggest ip on the planet i think so there's a lot of money at stake right and if you want your talent uh to work on anything nintendo related anything pokemon related you're probably not going to want to sing the praises of pal world too loudly yet because i still think there's going to be some kind of legal action i don't know what kind of legal action it's going to be it might be that nintendo has to find a workaround because they might not be able to take them down directly but nintendo is highly litigious i can absolutely positively see them doing something to try to throw a wrench into it because you can't let that slide you can't have this this game waltz in off the street with freaking 19 million players in two weeks like it if it didn't get this big i don't think they would care but because of the size of it uh, they're going to argue. I think they could potentially argue whether or not they're successful, whether or not they're right. That's a whole nother issue. But I think they could argue that there might be brand confusion because the game is being um, called Pokemon with guns in the media or something. And if they find assets, which I don't think there are, but if they do find assets or, or things are similar, they could tie things up in court. And I could see them doing that. It might be that they, they don't actually have a case, but they could try tying things up in court. Uh, I don't think they're going to let this one go. It's too big. Power World is too much of a, a threat to them because, like, you let this slide. Like, yeah, it's just some indie game. It'll come and go, whatever. Ten years from now, when there's a Power World theme park and you had the chance to stop them before they became your biggest competitor, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 the thing. That's what I think 
they're probably looking at like, yeah, they might not be that big of a deal right now, but uh, you know, they're, they're, they could potentially cut into our market share. So even if we're in the wrong, we need to uh, try to take them out. And that's how these corporations think, you know, anyway, uh, why talent agencies would be worried is, isn't hard to guess. This is according to Niche Gamer. Given the size of the Pokemon franchise, there's hundreds of performance jobs related to the franchises, ranging from professional dancers to musicians to mascots. Uh, for right now, this exists as a rumor, but given the economic weight that the Pokemon company can throw around, it'd be unsurprising if contractors who work with them uh, wouldn't be told to be careful, right? And I, I actually, I 100% agree. I think that this is probably true. It's just like you're not allowed to talk smack about Disney, in certain circles, in most circles, or you weren't allowed to, uh, because they owned everything. Well, you talk smack about Disney, that's great, until they buy your studio. You know, uh, I thought it was funny that The Simpsons and Family Guy roasted the hell out of Disney, and then Disney bought Fox, you know, and now Disney owns The Simpsons and Family Guy. It's just kind of ironic, and you're not allowed to talk smack about Disney anymore. Um, So here's his other article on the site. I don't know if I can show this or not. This is Pal World has a nude mod or nude mods on the way. Of course it does. Of course it does. Uh, (laughs) That's the first thing people are going to do. They're like, oh my God, we can punch them. We can enslave them. We can butcher them and eat them. But can we make out with them? That's the next step. Yeah, of course it is. So this is a... This is another Urgo on Niche Gamer. I just thought it'd be fun to throw this in. They said, a thread on Lover's Lab spoke of an upcoming not-safe-for-work model replacement mod that replaces the models of some of the child-friendly critters with ones more adult-oriented. Well, maybe Nintendo wouldn't come after them if there was obviously no brand confusion. The thread contains uh, sample illustrations of the model they're intending to create. Here's a work in progress. I don't know if I can show this. Uh, It's a lamb with boobs. Okay, the thread creator wants to make it clear that this isn't going to let you actually make out with the pals. It's simply a mod that will replace the models with more graphic ones. The creator also noted they want to replace the models for all pals and that they're looking for other capable individuals to help them bring the mod to life. This is a this is a furry's fantasy right here. Like you can't do that in Pokemon. Uh, yeah, so there we go, guys. Uh, you're not allowed to talk about Pal World. God, this is this is wild. This whole Pal World situation is just absolutely insane. Uh, I, I I'm gonna be honest. I do think Nintendo is gonna take some kind of action. I just don't know what kind of action they're gonna take. I don't know if they're legally in the right or not. But I could totally see them doing it just because there's a lot to lose. I mean, 19 million players in two weeks on an indie title. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people playing Pal World. And yeah. It's not It's not going to go well, I'm sure, at uh, the Pokemon Company. I'm sure it's a very dark day. It's a very gloomy day over there. So I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more gaming news, and we'll talk later.